along Michigan's South Shore. Tonight, Karen Sunderman reports on its past and present. You can almost see the tumbleweeds rolling down the street. Taconite Harbor was built in the 50s by the Erie Mining Company to house workers at their power plant just up the shore. At one time, 24 families called Taconite Harbor home. The uh, Erie employees had get-togethers, dances. They had the uh, kindergarten school right there on the property and their own fire hall. There used to be a lot of activity because they built a ball field right on the property and uh, Little League games going all summer long, and the people just walked over. Nobody had to drive. It was a good community. Nelson was one of the first employees at Erie, and he spent his life on the North Shore. He's witnessed the decline of the steel industry in the late 70s, and Taconite Harbor's transition into a modern-day ghost town. The Taconite Harbor Township sold earlier this month. The houses here sold for between $400 and $4,000 apiece, depending on their condition. One family bought 24 of the homes, taking up the challenge and responsibility of moving the entire town by next summer. Each one has been inspected by new owner, Ray Hughesby. They left uh, their benches, their work benches, and down in the basement there's lots of stuff. You know, you got to drag out and carry out mattresses we found. We found the bedding, and it's unusual, you know what you find in these houses. It's <laughs> just like a ghost town. <laughs> the structures are in good shape, considering, and stand as both a reminder to the past and an investment in the future. If I can make a buck on it, it's fine. If I don't, well, that's another thing. It's a good experience. No, we hope to move them into Silver Bay, a lot of them, and I, I'll put some of them out at my place, and my boy will take some, and my daughter will use some of them. And we, whoever wants to buy them, they're up for sale. So. Those who buy the homes will have the makings of a new future, while the land will return to a time before Erie Mining. In Taconite Harbor, with Peter Olson, I'm Karen Sunderman for Eyewitness News. A lot of memories there. If you don't like political commercials on television, enjoy yourself now because the commercials are coming back. DFL candidate Mike Hatch has purchased $200,000.